Well, some Bracebridge locals are feeling frustrated after a recent incident involving some poor parking choices. These photos were taken by a local who tells Kojiko News at least one of these drivers went into the old station restaurant for lunch. The witness says this is not an isolated incident and happens quite often in this area. Mayor Rick Maloney says this type of illegal parking is frustrating but should be reported as soon as it's spotted to bylaw so they can deal with it. So it's important for folks to communicate that to the town uh, and contact the bylaw department. And then they can uh, certainly respond to it. Uh, you know, uh, they may not be able to catch a violator uh, you know, immediately. Uh, they are, uh, it's a small unit uh, of folks uh, that are not, uh, that have other responsibilities beyond parking. Um, but at the same time, if there is a issue that is ongoing, uh, I'm sure that uh, our bylaw department wants to hear about that. As well as our BIA, we work very closely with the BIA, BIA in, in town. And if they have observed uh, and hear back through uh, you know, their uh, membership that there's challenges in certain areas of parking, they automatically reach out to the town. Uh, the bylaw department puts that on a uh, uh, focused area to, to monitor and ensure that uh, people are following uh, the parking rules. Uh, but at the same time, there is a, a need for uh, folks to make that uh, reach out to the, to the town and, and identify the issues that uh, they may have encountered when it comes to parking. The other issue that the town has heard plenty of complaints over is drivers making illegal left turns from Manitoba onto Dominion Street despite there being plenty of signage to direct them otherwise. Maloney says there have been plenty of deep discussions on how to deal with this issue. Uh, you know, we've done a, a downtown uh, master plan which included uh, streetscape. One of the discussion items, and it was very high level, was whether this road, uh, which is uh, Dominion Street, you know, be permanently blocked off and uh, you know, used uh, just by the local traffic. Uh, we haven't made a decision on that, but it's certainly one of those things that uh, through that process we identified as a challenge. Um, you know, I guess the other thing uh, to, to say is that uh, you know, when you're driving in a community and you're not familiar with the roads, it's uh, important that you pay extra diligence to uh, road signs and make sure that you're following uh, the signage that is in place. And uh, you know, a lot of times uh, it's uh, folks that are not familiar with the area. If you just take your time and uh, you know, plan your route accordingly, uh, then uh, you know, folks shouldn't have too much of a problem. But you know, certainly uh, you know, any of the issues with regards to moving traffic and, and pedestrian movement, movement and the interaction between vehicles and cars, you know, that's an important part for the town. And it's also a key uh, point that we'll be looking at when we look at our uh, transportation master planning on how we effectively move people through our community so that it's done safely, it's done efficiently, and uh, done uh, you know, in a, uh, a way that uh, doesn't uh, put uh, vehicles and pedestrians in conflict.